Do you need to know the molecular mass of iron 3 sulfate? Well, take a look at this simple process. I'm going to do it in about a minute. Bam. So the first thing we're going to do is write down the elements in the compound. So we have iron, we have sulfur, and we have oxygen. Next is then to write down the number of atoms of each. So at the bottom of iron, there is a 1. That means there's one iron. In other words, we got to look at the subscripts here to find the number of atoms. At the bottom of sulfur here, there is also a 1. So therefore, there's one sulfur. And at the bottom of oxygen, there's four oxygen. We're going to take those number of atoms then and, and multiply it by the mass of each element. And these masses are found on the periodic table, so let's take a look. Here's iron, 55.85, oxygen is 16, and sulfur is about 32.07. So let's write them in. So 55.85 for iron, sulfur is going to be about 32, 32.07, and oxygen is 16. Then all we simply have to do is multiply the row on a cross to find the total mass of each element in the compound. So the total mass of iron here is going to be 55.85. The total mass of sulfur is going to be 32.07. And then the total mass of oxygen is going to be 64. Last but not least, just add this column together to find the total mass of the entire compound. So when we add that together, we get 151.92. And the units here are in terms of AMU, atomic mass units. All right, And that's because we're finding the molecular mass. So thanks so much for tuning in. Ciao.